So now that we have the 71 Buick Centurion up in the air, I'm going to show you the underneath and why we're replacing all of the brake lines. And uh, there you go. There's why. That's like paper thin. And I've already had to replace the rear brake lines, um, but we're putting in a new proportioning valve, all new brake lines, and you can see how bad they are. Look at this one right here. It's just falling apart everything under the armor it's all about to go bad and you know we did the checkup on it and took a look at it so instead of just trying to replace a piece here or using this copper nickel alloy line i'm really not a big fan of this as a brake line i prefer using steel or stainless steel brake line i just think it's better than this copper alloy. This copper alloy is so malleable. It, it, sometimes if you make these fittings too tight with the copper alloy, the fitting will actually break the interior of your double flare and cause a small air leak. Sometimes it won't even um, drip fluid out of it. It'll just suck air into it. And we've had that happen before. So. I don't like using that stuff. So I can show you these are the brake lines I made a couple of months ago for them on the rear axle. So we ordered all of the rest of the brake lines, new proportioning valve, We're gonna put it all together with all new clips and everything. So there you go, guys. 1971 Buick Centurion. Got a lot of work to do. Have fun, talk to you soon. Okay, bye.